Hi, and welcome to the next video in the Inventor Tips and Tricks series. This one will be a quickie. It's all about intelligent feature suppression. How to make Inventor remove a feature from your part model if a value or a dimension goes past a certain size of your choosing. So in this case, what I have is a very dull, mundane looking orange plate with a cut going through the middle of it. I have a feature called Extrusion 1, which if you want, you can rename to something more meaningful, call it plate. And we have Sketch 1 with a dimension of 500 mil that controls the plate length. We also have a feature called Cut, which is the cut that I want it to... Uh, I wanted a bit of intelligence built into this feature. Why? Well, let's just have a look. If we're kind of conceptually designing this part, we're just playing about with lengths. We're like, okay, 500, maybe that's a bit too much. We want to reduce this down to say, what happens if we go 350? Finish that sketch. Well, the cut feature just goes bleh. It just dies, because it can't compute it anymore. These, if we look at the sketch of the cut, it's sort of gone a bit skew whiff. It's hanging off the edge of the plate. It just can't compute it anymore, and you get the feature error, which uh, you know, you'll have no doubt seen at some point in the past. And it's bad crack. It's bad juju, so we don't want that anymore. So we built a bit of intelligence. How do we put our intelligence in this? Okay, first things first, the sketch one, this parameter here. I'm going to right click in the middle of nowhere, go to dimension display and select name. I've named this parameter length. It would have been D something or other. I've named it length, which uh, I've shown you how to do in one of my other previous tips and tricks videos. Shameless plug. Go check it out. Uh, so that one's length. So I want length to be the, the kind of overriding value here. I want that to be the uh, the key component here. So I'm going to right click on cut, a feature cut, and go to properties. And what we do is we say to Inventor, in the feature properties area, suppress this feature if the parameter called length, which uh, name in it helps it stand out so you know which one it is instead of going, oh shit, which one was it again? Select length, suppress if length is well, in this case, less than or equal to a value. What value is that? Well, we know it dies at 350, and let's just say 380 mil. So suppress cut if length is less than or equal to 380 mil. Currently, length is at 500. So the cut is there. Let's go down to 400. Still happy. Let's go down to uh, 380. No, 385. It's still happy. Let's go down to 370. Whee! It's done it. So, because length is less than 380 mil, it suppresses the cut, as per the intelligence we plugged into it. Right click, go back to properties, suppress cut if length is less than or equal to 380 mil. Jobs are good. So, that's it. That's uh, intelligent feature suppression. It's not necessary, it's not, you know, important or urgent that you put this in your parts. It's just one of those nice little conveniences which you might find of use at some point in the future. So, yeah! Hopefully that's uh, of use to somebody. If uh, you like the video, please press like, subscribe for more videos, and uh, yeah, put some comments down below. And until next time, guys, uh, see ya.